Hello there, I'm your Oddville resident Jopro. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about how to move out a specific villager. So say you have a villager that you want off your island, you want to get a dreamy, or you just want to go villager hunting, whatever. You have a certain one in mind. This is how you target that villager and get them off your island in one day, generally within an hour. So there's lots of methods out there. This method isn't necessarily the best method, but it's a method that I've used and it works for me. The villager that I'm going to be targeting today is Genji. Now I know that may upset some of you Genji fans out there. I'm a big fan of Genji myself, but I wanted to do a villager hunt video for you guys. And he was the one that I just decided to go for. I can always get him back later if I want to, no big deal. So the first thing is getting into the game. You do not want to talk to any villagers except for the target villager. So I'm on now and I'm going to go straight to Genji's house. Shouldn't take much time. Just either go to the villager's house or look for them in the plaza. Try to find them wherever they may be. Talk to them. If you can't find them, no big deal. You don't have to talk to them. It just seems to increase the probability if you talk to that villager and no one else. So let's go look for Genji. By the way, some other important things are it cannot be within two weeks of the villager's birthday. And also... Uh, the villager cannot be the last villager who asked you to move. Genji's birthday is in February, so we have nothing to worry about. I'm going to head towards Genji's house. Alright, he is actually in the home. Typically, you do not need to go in the villager's home for this step. This is something that I'm doing now, just because I want to talk to them. But going forward, if the villager's in the house, on the following steps, as I'll show you, you're just going to time travel to the next day and the next day. But let's just focus on this for now. I'm at least going to get this DIY from him, whatever it is. I probably already have it, but whatever. Come on now, Genji. Alright, so I've talked to him. I'm going to head out. By the way, don't mind my flowers. I've been doing a lot of time traveling. I'm going to clean up soon. So I'm going to stand by the villager's house that is our target. And I'm going to time travel 30 days from now. And what you do is you press the home button on your switch like this. You go down to System Settings, System, you're going to turn off the synchronized clock via internet, go 30 days, or you can just flip up one month, it doesn't have to be exactly 30 days, just go up to 614 in this case, and now what you want to do though is you do want to go down to 1pm or close to it. I usually just go straight to one. I believe that is the highest probability of villagers not being in their homes. Now, you go back to the switch, hit the minus to save, wrap things up, save and end. It will now reload, as you know, and then when it reloads, it will reload 30 days into the future. And of course, Isabel always has news even if it's just to tell us that there is no news. Alright, so now I'm coming out 30 days in the future. Now, note that when you come out 30 days in the future, you will have the messy hair, which will now be unlocked. Also, if you go back into your house, you will have cockroaches. You just stomp on them until they're all dead. You'll do a little victory dance. So what we want to do now that we've time-traveled is we're going to head straight to Genji's house again. It's the first thing we're going to check. And it looks like he's in the home. So that's no good. So let's time travel again another day. So this time we're just going up one day. Because he wasn't home, let's adjust the clock a little bit. Okay, it's now another day. Let's head to see what Genji's doing. Hopefully he's got a bubble over his head. Or he's not home at least. That's good. Let's head for the plaza to see if he's there. Generally that's... Two places the villager will be if he's ready to move out is somewhere near his home or near the plaza. So there he is. You can talk to him if you want. No big deal. Just do not talk to anybody else. Do ghosts get ripped? <laughs> okay. Let's fast forward another day. Okay, the next day. Now we do have a villager staying at our campsite. Even if Genji is ready to move out, whatever, or isn't ready, I'm going to just see who the camper is because I'm just curious and I'm sure you guys... Would like to see who our camper is today. So, all right, Genji's not in the house. Sub Snake, remember, do not talk to the other villagers. 
I don't know how much of an actual effect it has, but everything that I have read says not to talk to anyone but the target. Oh, muscle madness. Let's calm down there, buddy. Alright, let's see who our camper is. I'm not a deep Animal Crossing fan. This is actually my first Animal Crossing game, so I don't know all the villagers well. I'm sure someone in the comments can shout out who it is. I don't want to talk to them to see who it is because I don't want to mess out the move out method. So, Okay, it's the next day. Let's see. Is Genji ready to move out today? Is he not home? Is he in the plaza? Oh, for a second there, I didn't think Judy was wearing any clothes. I was like, what is happening? Okay. There he is, and he has no bubble. Alright. Alright, June 18th now. Come on, Genji. Thought bubble, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Or at least you're not home. That's a, that's a good sign. Come on, Genji. Where are you at? Oh my gosh, these weeds need pulled. Gonna look just a little bit more for Genji. Like I said, typically they're around their house. So let me go in the vicinity of his house and back to around the plaza. Playground's overrun by weeds. No, no, no. He's not getting an education. Are you playing football, Genji? Oh, there he is. Vitamin J. All right, I'm Vitamin J. I like that. I will go with Vitamin J. He renamed me and I'm about to kick you out. All right, Genji, let's see what we got, buddy. There you are. No thought bubble. Yo, Vitamin J. Yeah, I'll be seeing you next day. Snake is probably thinking about moving. Now, in this situation, if you see another villager with a bubble over their head, do not engage with them or talk to them. You're simply just going to... Go to the next day. Okay, I believe this is the 10th consecutive day of time travel. Let's see. There it is. Bingo, guys. He is ready to move. Let's talk to him. Love vitamin J. It pains me to say it, but I've been thinking about leaving this island, Mochi. And it's probably faster to move than tidy up. Take care. So, you can say stay here and clean, obviously. He'll stay. You can say take care, and he will leave the island. Alright, so I want to explain a little bit more what happens next. Just in case you're pretty new and you've never had someone move out and you don't know anything about it. Tomorrow, so if you fast forward to the next day, he'll be in boxes. Okay, so as you will see here, Isabel's announcement will be different. She will reference the villager moving out. He'll be in his house the entire day, and every time that you talk to him, he'll still be in boxes sweeping just like this. Okay, so with your villager in boxes, this is the day where if you want to trade them to somebody for some Nook Mile tickets or some bells, wish list items, whatever, this is where you would have someone come to your island. They come to your island, they talk to Genji twice. They have to have an open plot on their island for it to work, but if they come and they have an open plot, they talk to Genji twice, or whoever your villager is, and that villager will then say, hey, I want to move with you, that's cool. That being said, I'm going to take a break in this video because I'm going to give Genji away to somebody I don't know who yet I'm gonna make some posts and uh, have someone come to this island and uh, get him for free okay so we got somebody 
on their way now to pick up Genji. All right, so we have somebody here to get Genji. A lucky person on Discord, Kenzie. So what you'll do is this person came to the island. Now, I gave away for free. If you wanted to get something for it, you could say that you want to get something for it in your post. But all they have to do is go inside and talk to the villager, which she is doing now. And then you can wait outside doing a happy dance. Yay! Confetti! Woo! So that trade is complete. That person got Genji successfully. They had an open plot, they spoke with him, he is now going to be at their plot the next time their game gets to 5 a.m. Okay, so now it is the next day, just a little past 5 a.m. as you can see, 5.04. Now if I go to Genji's house, there will be an open plot. It says Nook Inc. If you read it, it says plot available. What this means right now is I have a few options. I can A, get on Nookazon, Facebook, Discord, any other type of um, social network where I can seek a villager and I can either make a trade or find a free villager in boxes and talk to that villager. Or I can go villager hunting, which I'm about to do. Or if I do nothing, the plot will autofill by 5 a.m. the next day. Now, recently there's been a bit of a glitch where it's been not auto-filling sometimes the very next day, but I'm not risking it. I'm still going to stick to 5 a.m. the next day. The plot will auto-fill with whatever villager randomly. So now I'm going to go ahead and villager hunt. That'll be a separate video. When I'm done with that, I'll finish this video so that you can see the final pieces of what it looks like to move out in, in a villager. Okay, guys. I've got somebody moved into the plot. Hey, Kabuki. And Apple's kind of coming to the party as well. But I've got uh, somebody moved in the plot. You can see it says sold. Who is it? Oh, it is Raymond. So this is what will happen when you get the villager to agree to move into the plot. Immediately, this plot will then have the villager's name like this and say it belongs to this person. So now I'll go ahead and uh, time travel to the next day so that you can see what happens next. So Isabel will announce uh, that we have a new friend on the Oddville. His name is Raymond. Hey, I did some real thinking about what we talked about before. And you're right. I should totally live on this island with you and your friends. So, I'm here. And I'm going to start living that island life right now. I wish you would have said right meow. Okay, guys, real quick. Just want to break to let you know that I am giving this Raymond away. This Raymond here is 100% ungifted. Giving him away plus 200 Nook Mile tickets plus 10 million bells to one lucky subscriber. Just head over to our Instagram, Crossing Oddville. I'll leave all the required information in the show notes, but head over to the Instagram and leave a comment saying why you deserve this Raymond and follow the rest of the instructions in the Instagram photo. You can't miss it. It'll be very obvious. Do that when you some Raymond. So now back to this video. I'm going to I'm going to time travel one more day just so you can see the next day. All right. So one more day later, we are here and Raymond is not home. He's exploring the island. But he is fully moved in, guys. I really hope this video helped you. Uh, if, if you want more content like this, please subscribe, leave a like, tell me in the comments what you think, and again, do not forget to head to the Instagram to get you free Raymond. Or even if you don't want him, you can get Nook Mouth tickets and some bells, and then you can sell your Raymond. Whatever. Thanks again, guys. Thank you for crossing Oddville, and have yourselves a great day.